Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be covering, again, the airdrop program that's going to be happening for XRP solo and core holders. I'm also going to be covering some of the recent news with Cosmos Station and going to talk a little bit about smart tokens in this video. So we have a fun one planned. Uh, let's start with the airdrop program. So there's still been a lot of questions in the comment sections about these uh, the, the airdrop plan. So if you have Corium and you're holding in Ledger, you have your trust line set up, uh, you're good to go. If you're holding on Zum, Sologenic, if you already have, I would basically, if you're holding on a self-custody wallet, I believe you are good to go. Now there's going to be 100 million Corium allocated for this airdrop. The snapshot is going to be happening on March 24th, 2023. The distribution schedule is you'll receive 25% the 1st of April, you'll receive another 25% the 1st of June, another 25% August, and another 25% the 1st of November. For solo holders, there's going to be 25 million X-Core allocated to you. You will need to set up an X-Core trust line. I have two videos basically giving you a full walkthrough instructions on how to do that. So if you, have, if you have solo, whatever device you're holding solo on, you need to have the X-Core trust line in order to qualify. The snapshot is happening on the 24th of March as well, and you'll receive 100% of the amount on the 15th of May, 2023. Same situation with XRP. Every device you have your XRP uh, and you're holding it in, you need to set a trust line for X-Core to qualify. There's going to be 25 million X-Core allocated to the participants. Snapshot is happening on the 24th of March. 2023, you'll receive 100% of your amount on the 15th of May of 2023. So obviously the biggest one is core holders. Uh, I have some more, a fun breakdown for you guys. So uh, the final ratio calculation of the core airdrop is subject to the total number of core holding participations in the airdrop. We calculate it and announce officially post snapshot date. So I read that to you guys, just to let you guys know. Uh, this is all speculative numbers for now. So for example, uh, I did some math for you guys. This will be, this is literally too low to exactly happen because we know not all 400 million solo is eligible to participate, but let's just go on the extreme low end. So uh, there's 25 million X core allocated to solo holders. So 400 million solo participate. Um, the ratio would be 0 0.0625 X-Core per solo. So if you have 10,000 solo, you'll be receiving 625 X-Core May 15th, 2023. But let's look at something more realistic. So let's do the math of 200 million solo participate. So then we can kind of do like a in-between, you know, and we can kind of see a realistic expectation. So if 200 million solo participate, the number will be 0.125 X core per solo. So if you have 10,000 solo, you'll be receiving 1,250 X core. That's pretty nice. So now uh, I did the, this is as big as my calculator, calculator could go on my phone. So I did 999 million, basically 1 billion XRP. So if 1 billion XRP participate, which probably more will, uh, 25 million to XRP holders. If basically 1 billion XRP participate, uh, for every 10,000 XRP, you'll be receiving 250 X core, uh, speculative. Uh, so there is 100 million core to core holders and there's supposed to be 100 million core uh, distributed year one. So we could say likely one core per core, so 10,000 core equals 10,000 core. It could be less uh, than that as well. So now, you know, if you want to have some fun, especially with the X core, you know, uh, have some fun. If the strike auction option actually does hit $10 on X core, uh, add up your airdrops and uh, there's some hopium for you. So do you add up your airdrops that you're going to be receiving times that by $10 if the strike option hits on the option token that we've been discussing? Wow, that for me is going to be life changing. So uh, I really hope that we're able to hit $10, you know, but I'm really excited for this project for the long term, either way. So the way that X Core works is uh, if X Core stays at $10 for 10 days or longer, uh, basically you will be able to swap it for real core via a Corium smart contract. 
If not, we'll be able, if it never hits $10, you'll be able to receive uh, the market value uh, and swap it uh, two years from now, 2025. So it's like we have vested uh, tokens into the project. So it's pretty cool. I actually have a program I'll put into a link. There's a NASDAQ course that you could actually take. Uh, sign up now for free options trading course for private investors. If you want to learn more about, learn the fundamentals to take your first steps in derivative tra tradings. Basically, it'll teach you about option trading if you want to learn more. So I'll put this in the link. Uh, people here want to keep learning new things. So there's something that you could expand your mind with. So uh, this is basically a little spreadsheet that you could kind of get inspired and do yourself and play around with the numbers and see the possibilities of what these airdrops could look like when they appear in your wallet. So uh, one of the things I really wanted to, one of the things I've been really talking about a lot is just how Corium is first going to be a tool that Sologenic utilizes and the XRP ledger utilizes, but really it's so much bigger than that. The whole entire ecosystem is going to be able to benefit from this technology. And I've been kind of just speculating, wow, actually Corium could, if you use a smart token, you could mint Corium onto uh, the Corium blockchain and basically make Bitcoin a smart token. And I didn't realize that on their website, you could see that they have Corium Hub in the middle, then they have XRP, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all attached on their main page. So that's definitely part of their vision. A multi-chain future with hundreds of blockchains currently being used, Corium deploys a bridge functionality to interoperate with various chains through collateralized wrapping. So the bridge functionality they use is IBC, Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol. You could read more about it in here, but smart tokens are natively issued tokens on the Corium chain that are wrapped around smart contracts. They're highly customizable and designed to be lightweight, flexible, while remaining extendable. And you could use these smart tokens for CBDCs, NFTs, uh, cryptos, and uh, so much more. So, um, very powerful. You definitely should read the technical paper if you want to learn more about uh, their plan for dominating the tokens and um, having the best uh, best option for uh, tokenizing assets on Corium blockchain. I really believe that. So let's talk about Cosmo Station real quick. So uh, we are thrilled to have Cosmo Station participating on the Corium as a Genesis validator, leading the Cosmos ecosystem as a highly secure validator node operator. Cosmo Station will be key partner as we continue to build on Corium. So you know what's funny? The first ever wallet I downloaded when I got involved with Cosmos, uh, I'm pretty big into Cosmos ecosystem. I talk about it a lot. Um, was Cosmos Station. So the first time I staked a Cosmos DeFi gem, I staked it in my Cosmos Station wallet. And now we came full circle and Cosmos Station is going to be a Genesis validator. And because they're a validator, I believe we're also going to be able to use their wallet tools. So if you don't know about Cosmos Station, they already have an amazing wallet where this will probably be one of the first places we're able to go and stake our Corium to validators is Cosmos Station. So they peer, they're they purely streamlined access to the interchain. So this is like your interface to interact with uh, Cosmos-based chains. And we'll take a look. So you are able to stake, earn, explore, and bridge between self-sovereign blockchains supported on interchain application powered and secured by the Cosmos Station validator node. So they're so much more than a validator. They're actually contributing and having, and they have a lot of tools for basically uh, the ecosystem. So um, that's what you wanna see that validators are actually contributing to the ecosystem. And here's an example. So they have a product called MintScan and this allows you to basically see everything that's happening on chain with all these different chain, uh, Cosmos chains from Atom to Akash to Comdex, there's Evmos. You could basically see all the different IBC chains uh, on MintScan, and that's produced by Cosmos Station. So you know Corium will also be featured here because it's one of their basically partners. Also, they have a, a wallet. So this is the wallet where you'll be able to delegate, you'll be able to do your governance. See right here it says governance, and see right here it says delegate. So you'll be able to go to your Cosmos Station wallet, 
connect to the Corium blockchain, stake your core, do your governance right on your phone. Uh, you could even uh, basically buy uh, Cosmos coins directly from your Cosmos station wallet too. That's another another story. But let's look at their partners. So their partners, so about Cosmos Station, uh, state-of-the-art security. Uh, they help feel the ecosystem. Uh, delegators come first. So they really are, Cosmos Station is driven by and for the community. Uh, but here are their partners. So you got Interchain Foundation, Ignite, Crypto.com. You have Binance. You have Osmosis. You have Kava. You have uh, Stargaze, Chainlink. Chainlink's pretty big. So you have a lot of big name players that are partners and soon uh, Gravity Bridge as well. Uh, soon Quorum will be on this list. So that this is a big partner partnership. If you weren't impressed uh, from this announcement, December 28th. Uh, this brings a lot of credibility to Corium uh, and in coming into the whole Cosmos ecosystem. So it's a great partnership. Uh, Corium sitting at 46 cents, Sologenic sitting at 17 cents. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I just want to make a quick video to, just to keep you guys in the loop. Um, the biggest question I've had is, if, I if I'm holding Corium, what do I need to do? As far as I know, as long as you have it in, you know, your XRP toolkit, your decent wallet, your Zum wallet, your Sologenic wallet, uh, just make sure you're holding March 24th and then uh, basically follow the next instructions so you guys are good to go. So everybody uh, have fun with, let me have fun finding out how much your airdrop could potentially be with this math here that I created for you guys. And, uh, you know, if you want some extra homework, definitely research the smart token technical paper and learn how big this tool is. This tool is going to be a solution for the entire industry. Uh, everybody will be able to uh, mint smart tokens onto the Corium ecosystem and benefit from this third generation technology. So everybody have an awesome day. Uh, please subscribe. Please leave some comments. Please give me a thumbs up and peace.